Welcome to the Garden Corner Show. I'm John. This is the internet's most passionate gardening show around. Dave, my cameraman, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, John. Doing great? Great. I am. I want to tell our wide world audience about what to do with their hanging baskets after the season. Now, you uh, you are in the springtime and you bought a great hanging basket and hopefully it was blooming crazy all through the summer months. If it isn't, we got to talk about that. Um, so, but as it got colder, the, the bloom started to weather and look bad and pretty soon, whatever you do, don't have a hanging basket that's a dead hanging basket. There is something we can do to keep it going, believe it or not, and it starts with your hanging basket and our first step is just to cut off the greens uh, and leave the root ball. Now I have a pulp pot here. You can very well do this in a um, plastic pot. Uh, what we've done here is cut off all the greens and I went ahead and took a drill and drilled a bunch of holes. Can you see that? Uh, a bunch of holes into this pulp pot. Again, you don't have to do it through the plastic. We can plant it off the top. So, got the root ball, and you've got the holes. Uh, let's go. Let's go to our next step. I'll show you what to do. Okay, so. What we did then is we just begged, borrowed, and steal, stole, no, we didn't steal, but begged and borrowed for cut greens. And we went to some, uh, some Christmas tree farms, and they have some bad uh, trees, you know, not picture perfect. And um, uh, Phoebe from, from Friends, there's an episode on Friends that had Phoebe like the, um, like the Charlie Brown <laughs> Christmas tree. Um, but we went ahead and chopped them down. And then we just took the branches from them, you know, just took the, just took the, uh, we just cleared off the branches. And noble fir really works good. We have noble fir. A neighbor was trimming their um, laurel hedge. This is English laurel. And so we took some of the branches from there. Uh, there were some low growing cedars uh, being cut down. Um, so we took, took some of that. Dug fir. Dug fir, there's just lots of dug fir. Of course, we're in Oregon, and oh, and we got some holly. This was a this was a gangbuster find. Um, uh, Karen's neighbor had had grow some holly, and he 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 does it for the commercial market. But he he I guess he couldn't sell a bunch, or he had some extras, and um, so I had the guys go out and chop that too. So. Whatever you have in the garden, and we pick these ones because they tend to last a little bit longer. So it can run from, uh, well, we're just right before Thanksgiving, all the way into April, believe it or not. So you got to cut greens, right? Now let's go to the table where we're going to work on that basket. Blah. So, we have the basket, um, but now what we've done, if you see here, and I didn't really do this, Alberta did this, uh, is she cut these into little pieces like this. So we had some of that cedar, some of the juniper, and she's got it kind of ready to, to plug in. And some of the, uh, this is actually southern magnolia, which is really nice. So she's got it all uh, um, cut. And what she, Alberta, you want to show? You show, uh, um, show how to how to stick them. Okay, go ahead. You, you do it. Oh no. Because you know, I really don't know what I'm doing here. But um, so you see how how how. Okay. Look at that magic. So, you see how she's, she's got that started, and she's just going to work her way all the way around and put in these different mixes so that the end of, in the basket you get this big, full greenery. Now, you can do just the top, too, when you have these cedars coming out 
off the top and then some other greens up on top. But it's a great look because here is the finished look. You're going to take a look at this one. So you can see some of the holly, some of the dug fir, a uh, noble fir, dug fir, some of the cedar, and it makes this great big hanging basket. Now this is a little bit larger basket to begin with, but one of the smaller ones is this one right here. So, and we put them in stands, of course, which is really fun. You've got that, There's so you can stop there. There's even one step to go over the top. So let's go to the other spot and see it, okay. We're gonna shoot some video here. We're good? No, no, no. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, we all, by the way, um, just, just so you know, just so we're, so we're all around, um, is we have nicknames for each other. This is KT, this is E-Man, and actually, I introduced myself as John, but I'm actually called J-Dog around here, so. Top Dog. Uh, I said Top Dog, but not really. Uh, but um, KT and E-Man are the magicians around here. Um, and so we're taking the green basket and we're decorating them up. So actually, you guys go ahead and, and pretend like wasn't even here. And what are you doing? <laughs> no. Um, and so, is, are we done with this basket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you see how KT did that? So she, we take these out, outdoor ornaments uh, and we just hot glue them. Yeah, yeah. Or do you need, or, yeah, because we need some smaller ones here, don't we? Okay. Oh, e is doing it. So, take a look at this, Dave. Are you doing okay? Okay. So, so we have these little hot, uh, I guess these are glue balloons, mm -hmm. and we dip them in there, and... And just stick them in there. And these handle the weather. They handle all the. You know, they shake in the wind and and, and twirl and, and and what have you. But um, there's a new song on. Uh, I did. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, and we put ribbon in it, uh, and uh, we put the hot glue on there, and, and, they, let, and they stay in there. And Because I can show you. Take a look. Look at this, this. This is an ornament from last year, and it was glue, hot glued right in there and stuck on there. And, and we can reuse them, too. So, uh, you know, that's what you'll be seeing. But uh, take a look at some of the finished baskets. Let's see. Here we go. You good? And what we do, so we have the finished basket with the ornaments on there. We put some uh, um, some ribbon in there. Uh, make a comment if you want me to show you how to make the ribbon because it's a whole process too on that. But we make this little tail as well. And in the end, get something like that. How's that? Pretty cool, eh? Anyway, that's it for today. Hope that gives you an idea. Uh, of course, we always have baskets here, but that's shameless self-plug for that. No, I don't want to say that. Um, oh, hey, I just want to tell you, Thanksgiving. I, I, I heard a, um, um, I heard a, I read a. What is it? An interesting quote. An in <laughs> I read an interesting quote. It was Thanksgiving, by the way, is an action word. I thought that was a great quote for the Thanksgiving weekend anyway. Happy gardening. Enjoy. Live your passion.